Gravel is a hot new thing right now, and in particular, gravel racing is getting ever more popular an early set get more popular as the USI launched their World Championships event later this year. So if you're in the market for a gravel race bike, then this, the brand new Avilia Rave SLR, might be the bike for you. A bike unashamedly designed for gravel racing, but as you can see here, available in two quite different builds. So this is your normal gravel spec with nice chunky but fast rolling tires. And over here, well this is the all road spec, and this really bridges a gap from a road race bike to a gravel bike. Perhaps the ideal bike for UK country lane riding with the fat tyres. But this is a bike that we're going to talk about in this video. We'll go for a spin and see how it performs. But first, let's go through some details on this brand new bike. Versatility is something often attributed to gravel bikes as a big bonus over road and mountain bikes. And something I do talk about here on the channel quite a bit. Run one bike and two sets of wheels or tires and you cover road to gravel and even a bit of mountain biking as well. But that versatility isn't something that Villiers is really pushing. This is really a gravel race bike designed for gravel racing where speed is a real focus. This is really offering another option for people who want an all road bike or a fat tired road bike, which it really is. But there's nothing to stop you putting bigger tires in this or narrower tires on this one. The only thing you have to be aware of on this bike, particularly with a two by, is front mech clearance being an issue and restricting how wide a tire you can go. So that two bikes in one isn't really the main focus of this bike, but really two different ways you can build it. They don't envisage people buying a bike and swapping the tires and wheels. But of course, there's nothing to stop you doing that if you want to. Now let's go through the frame in a bit more detail. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the film, both frames are the same. You simply choose what build configuration you want, whether gravel or all road behind me. So frame, as you can see, is clearly designed to be as light as possible and also as aero as possible. And they're taking heavy influence from their Zero SLR and Philante SLR road race bikes for the design of this bike. In a way, it's basically the Philante SLR on steroids with much bigger tire clearance and quite a similar geometry, but it's slacker with a higher stack and a shorter reach to put the handlebars a little bit higher. But you can get a fairly similar fit between this bike and the Philante SLR. And that's perfect if you're a professional road racer, which Villa does sponsor a team of, and you have a road race bike and you want to get into gravel racing and have two bikes that give a very similar fit but a very different capability for road versus off-road. And there's nothing funky or mad about this bike. All looks very conventional. No dropped chain stays, no adjustable geometry, no suspension, just pure, simple, and a very focused bike. Tire clearance is a big topic with gravel bikes. And based on their research and study of gravel racing, they determined that a 38 to 42 mil wide tire is about the average size that most gravel racers use. Hence why the bike tops out at a 42 mil wide tire. These are 38 fitted. So 38 to 40 is about the optimum tire for this Rave SLR. And in my experience, a 40, 42 mil wide tire is a really good setup. A nice combination of rolling speed and low weight and aero at high speeds, but also enough grip and traction and comfort for off-road. If, however, you want more tire clearance than that, then the company does offer the Jenna, which is a better option for bike packing and gravel adventure riding, where bigger tires are a more natural fit. Also speaking of bike packing and adventure riding, this bike, as you can see, is bereft of mounts on the fork and the frame for fitting racks and extra bottles and bags. So really stripped back, a very pure and focused gravel race bike if you want to adventure bike packing, the Jenna with bigger tires and more versatility is a better option. The other big debate in the gravel world right now is the choice of one or two chain rings or one by versus two by. And there are pros and cons to each system. I've done a video on this link down below in case you want to find out my views on one by versus two by. So the new Rave SLR is designed to accommodate a front mech across the range, even on a gravel one by build over there and most of the options are two by. And that's because 
despite the fact they recognize one bike is increasingly popular for gravel and adventure and bikepacking riding, they see the benefits of two by being a better spread of gears, especially at high speed where gravel racing really needs that high speed offering that two by still offers, especially for the roadies coming from road riding into gravel and wanting their front mech and that spread of gears and the tight cadence steps they're used to on a road bike. This bike is so quick, I love it. The speed comes so easily and it urges you, compels you to push as hard as you can on the pedals, attack every hill, attack every corner, attack your mates and just keep the speed going and going. And it carries that speed over the terrain so well and it's smooth and composed and it's so much fun and it's hard work I need to catch my breath Whew. yeah this bike too fast for me it's too fast for my current level of fitness so I'm riding the gravel version of this bike because it's the one that fits me size large fits my 511 frame very well I'm on the road at the moment and these Vittoria Terreno dry tires have a nice low profile centre section so here on the road, very fast, no noise, very little rolling resistance to notice. And when I get off road, they also work there too. Not the best option for mud, but Vittorio does do a mud version of his tyres. And there are loads of good options if you want a better tyre for your conditions and trails. And it is fascinating to see Villier offer the Rave SLR as a gravel bike and an all road bike. And I see the two different bikes appealing to different people or with some crossover in between. But for me, this bike is not slow on the road at all. So I take this bike with the chunky tires and enjoy that off-road performance it offers. Yes, the all-road is an appealing, enticing option, but getting off-road is what gravel is all about, whether you're racing or just riding for fun. And it'll be interesting to see how popular each one is. There are loads of details on the new Rave SLR that draw heavily on their road bikes, the Falanti and the Zero SLR. Firstly, we have full internal cable routing at the front of the bike. As you can see, no cables get in the way of the handlebar bag and minimal drag as well. Even on this mad looking J-bar, the cables and hoses go inside the handlebar and into the frame, so very clean. And then at the back of the bike, we have a nice aero carbon fiber seat post and seat tube with the seat clamp accessed underneath a rubber flap here to stop mud and grit and water getting inside the frame. Very skinny dropped rear stays, a small bridge across the top there for extra stiffening and a really neat looking packaging of the bike. A small cutout at the back of the seat tube for tire clearance as well. And from this angle, it looks really, really smart. And what do you think of the paint jobs? Personally, I really like this two-tone contrast setup with a color match fork to the logos on the frame and I like the sand understated color on the gravel build over there. I think this color suits a road spec and that color really suits a gravel off-road spec. So I think they've done a really good job on the graphics and fairly pared back as well. Just a logo on a down tube and a head tube. So yeah, nice work, Vilia. It does remind me of the Falanti SLR road bike, but fat tires. Similar fit, slightly taller stack and shorter reach, which helps you off-road but it feels so fast and it does feel like a road bike with gravel tyres which in a way it is the handling is a bit more laid back though really nice and neutral good balance in a straight line nice and easy to carve into the corners doesn't feel too twitchy doesn't have that nervous feel these tyres feel good in the current conditions Nice low profile centre section for fast rolling on the gravel and on the road but with taller shoulder lugs for cornering bite. It's not a handful in the corners at all. You really chuck it into the bends with confidence, really looks after you. And this bike carries its speed over all terrain so well but definitely leans towards smoother, well maintained gravel like I'm riding right now. This by the way is a Fosway in the Cotswolds, one of the best gravel sections around here and it's perfect for this sort of bike. And the comfort is really good too. And this j Ben handlebar, despite the mad looks, is giving a bit more comfort at the front and the flare drops give more control in the corners. 
So I'm liking the handlebar, working well, and it's a real talking point on this bike. It's fair to say that gravel bikes are really starting to diversify these days. And for me, that's no bad thing. Try and get one gravel bike that can do everything and keep a gravel racer happy while also keeping a bike packing enthusiast happy is a really tricky challenge. So rather than do that, have a bike focus on the different demands of gravel racing and then bike packing adventures and everything in between makes a lot more sense. And that's why I've seen companies like Villiers offer a range of options from the Rave SLR for gravel racing and then the Jenna for more bike packing adventure riding. And there are quite a few good options in the market in the gravel race category right now. And the Rave SLR joins the likes of the Cervelo Espero, which is a blindly fast, really capable gravel bike. There's also the 3T Explorer Race Max, which I reviewed last year. And that is also very fast on the road and off-road, but the comfort isn't quite as good as the Rave SLR here. Another option you could throw into the mix here as a rival would be the Specialized Crux, which, while it has a much lighter frame than a Rave SLR, has much bigger tire clearance, and also has external cables versus the internal cable routing and the aero frame features of this Rave SLR. So some really exciting options in the gravel race category. And I think the Rave SLR does a really good job of being a top contender. If your idea of gravel is more bikepacking, adventure riding, mountainous terrain, then this probably isn't a bike for you. And the company Jenna would be a better option. But if you love speed on and off road and your gravel it's fairly smooth and well maintained, then this is a really exciting option. It looks fantastic. The ride and performance is fantastic, uh, but the price is fantastic as well. So let's talk about the price of this new Rave SLR. Okay then, but make sure you are sitting down for this bit of the film. So prices start, yes, start at £8,680 and go all the way up to £11,350. So certainly an expensive high-end offering. The bikes here are just two examples of the offerings available, and there are Shimano, SRAM, and Campag Eckard builds to choose from. So over on the all-road bike, we have Shimano's brand new Durace Di2 12-speed semi-wide group set with a road setup. So an 1130 cassette on the back and a 5034 compact chain set on the front and 32 mil wide Vittoria Corsa tires. Meanwhile, on this bike here, we have SRAM's recently launched Explore cassette. So 1044 option on the back with a new rear mech and a single chainring on the front. While the tires are 38 mm wide Vittoria Terreno dry tires. Another big difference between these two bikes is the handlebar options and they are options. So on a gravel bike, we have the very distinctive J-Bend handlebar with a V-shaped stem. Apparently it gives more compliance and has a slight flare in the drops for more control in tricky situations. But I see mud coming through that stem, potentially being an issue when it is muddy and wet. While on the all road build, we have the Zero SLR handlebar. We can go for the Philante handlebar if you want. As a weight, while well, I flash it up on the screen, no pedals, size large for this build and a size medium for that one over there. So it's clear from my time on a brand new Rave SLR, that Villiers has hit all the right notes when it comes to making a gravel race bike. It's got the speed, it's got the aero, it's got the looks, and it's got the great handling as well. And the comfort is pretty good too. Now clearly, there's not a gravel adventure bike packing option. It's all about going fast on any terrain you might encounter. And it leans towards smoother gravel like I'm riding right now. Rough roads, Nicely maintained groomed gravel rather than chunky woody trails. So that is a brand new Villiers Rave SLR. A gravel race bike that definitely has the looks, the speed and the performance to be a real contender in this growing category of bikes focused on increasingly popular gravel race market. But it's definitely not a cheap option by any stretch of the imagination. So hopefully we'll see some more affordable builds in the future Maybe an SL frame with low graded carbon or even an alloy option would be good to see to bring the performance down to a low price point to make it more accessible for more people. But if you can't afford it, you won't be disappointed at all. It's a quite stunning bike to ride and to look at. Anyway, 
That's my review of the brand new Rave SLR. Got any questions, put them down below and you'll see some more of the best gravel bikes available in 2022. Then check on this video up here and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button just down here. Right, I'll see you all again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.